Yes! Yes, I needed that! It's been a grind of media. This is the only time period that matters is the next eight hours right here, so. This is the greatest spectacle in all of sport fishing. The Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic presented by Toyota. Are you ready? We talked about this this morning. You can't force this stuff, man, if there's no current. Yes! Yes, I needed that! Like the cast before, you just know you're gonna get a bite. Let's roll, boys. You gotta find the right stuff, though. It's gotta look right. It's gotta be a current break and wind blown. <laughs> Come on, bite. It's a good stretch right here. <laughs> that thing crushed it so hard. Look at that spot right there. It looks perfect. I'm not gonna go down in flames on that main river when it's not going. It's like so hard to slow down. Good one. Yes! This is a good stretch right here too. I haven't even fished it yet. This is how you catch a really, really big one. Ends with these lay downs. There's two big ones on it. Start on a on a wall, and then I'm gonna make my way up, and I'm gonna fish all those bridge pilings, the smallies. Because out of all the places, if they jack with the current, if they stop the, you know, they they if they shut some gates, then uh, then the current stops and the fish stop biting, and it's it's highly affected down on the lower half of the lake, which is where most of my stuff is. So. If it was like the last day of practice and the and they shut the gates and there was zero current, I learned my lesson last time. You can't force it. You got to do something else. So the only place that's guaranteed current is all the stuff up by Knoxville. So since I'm boat 50, I'm gonna go start on a stretch that's somewhat close, and then I'm gonna wait till all the boats get you know leave, and I'm gonna come back up and fish around the ramp area. There's a lot of nice current breaks with swift current, which means big smallies. All right, I hopped in my boat here for about 20 minutes is all I needed to uh, rig up my final rods. Just a couple spinning rods, just in case something happens. And normally, uh, what I like to do is take out all this tackle, all my practice tackle outside of my boat so that my boat runs extremely fast up and down the river. But this is a classic and anything could happen out there. So all this tackle I have, I mean, from older swim baits, to all my Neko rigging, to all my swim bait rigging jig heads, uh, swing heads, uh, you know, underspins, all that stuff stays in the boat. So it's, it's very, very heavy. And I'm gonna have a heavy load going all through, uh, running all through the river. But again, I wanna be ready for anything. So all my rods are rigged up. It's a lot more than I anticipated. I'm looking forward to these warming temperatures because out of all these rods I have rigged up, the one I look forward to throwing most is that swim bait right there. So meat and potatoes, that's the key this week of this classic, meat and potatoes. Something winding and something flipping. So tomorrow is day one of the 23 Bassmaster Classic. It has been a grueling last couple days. So I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna get a bunch of rest. And uh, again, the fishing's not wide open, but the way I like to fish, one here, one there, it's definitely my style of fishing. So. This is a classic, we're gonna go hard. So you guys, thank you for hanging out. Wish me luck and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks dude, appreciate it. A couple things this morning already. One, it's 30 degrees warmer than anything we saw in practice. I'm talking about 30 degrees in the morning, 30 degrees in the evening. So things are gonna happen quick today. The other thing I noticed big time, not only is there a lack of current, which means you know the gates down there are somewhat closed, it feels like, because this is an area that should be smoking current and it's not, as well as on top of the fact that there's uh, wind pushing up against it. So there's one thing I learned fishing here in the past, when there's zero current on that main river, you can't force it, you can't keep throwing swim baits to those current breaks that are you know, non-existent or the current breaks are kind of broken up because there's a lack of current. 
so you really have to uh, make adjustments, whether it's going to a back pocket, a back creek, anything, but you know, forcing a, a swim bait bite that's not there. So, um, so we got to stay on our toes today. The whole kind of theme of the day is constantly adjusting to make every cast count. These are gonna so. be the best conditions for fishing all week long today, so you can't slip. I mean, you gotta have a, a good bag today and really just kind of show up to the classic today with the weather, with the current, and with all the other anglers out here. You just, you gotta be the best today, period. It's been a grind of media and showing up and obligations and be here at this time, be here at that time. And we're like three minutes away from, two minutes away from blasting off now. And this is the only time period that matters is the next eight hours right here. So like I said, we got to get off to a good start. Uh, not necessarily in the morning, but you got to get a good start for the tournament today. Dude, the water temperature rose three degrees, man. Like, that swim bait bite's gonna go down. Blaze through here. I, mean, I got a lot of stuff to fish, man. I don't wanna slow down. At some point, a big largemouth will pull up to that. We're gonna need, need more current than this. We keep working down the lake, either further up or further down. All right, let's boogie. Getting a feel for it, getting a feel for it. Current slowing down. <laughs> End up slowing down on this next spot. Just shake a worm for a few fish. Last cast here, then we're gonna go to a wall. Come on, super smally. But it's telling me to slow down, man, because without current, you gotta slow it way down. <laughs> Let's go, Johnny. I think it's taking these fish a while to get yeah. up. You can get up in that stuff. Gotta slow down. The only thing I'm getting bites on is a freaking, you know, worm. Maybe the reaction bite will turn on in the afternoon. Gotta get off the main river for a little bit, man. This is just, they're not in position, you know? Gotta get, you know, put myself in pockets and creeks for a little bit. I mean, got to. Let's not get any better looking than this. Mud line and wind. There's some bait out here in front of it. Yes! Little one, but it'll do. Finally a keeper. Finally. One more cast and we gotta go. Ah, 
gosh, man. All right, let's go. Man, that's shocking. I didn't get another bite right there. Gotta get on it. You gotta stay on it. Let's go fish that marina down there. I'm gonna start heading back. Fat non keeper. I don't think so. That's like a 12 incher. I mean, it's close. I'm gonna throw it in there. That's like barely touching. So I think they're a little man. Oh, stay on there. Oh shoot. Something, dude. Oh. Oh. Yes. yes, I needed that. Three pounder. Three. Three. <laughs> Thanks, dog. There's a freaking underwater like shopping cart or something right there. Oh. Dude, they're all like 12. Oh, there's no way. 18 and a half. Dude, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. Man, brutal day. Like, absolutely brutal. The main river thing is something I relied on heavily, and it was non existent. I had to come in here and catch a couple. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna see you guys at the uh, boatyard. What a day. Bassmaster Classic. Crappy start. I gotta go. Twos, as a matter of fact, here. So, uh, can we expect some more fireworks tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I went out today, uh, you know, throwing my swim bait, doing what I like to do. You know, in the classic, you gotta, you gotta go with your gut and you gotta go with your confidence baits. And for me, that's a swim bait. You know, I got on the first first uh, channel bend and the second channel bend. I realized, oh man, there's no current, and I had flashbacks of 2019 where they completely cut the current off. So. When that happens, it gets a little tough. Maybe the current will turn on tomorrow. I scrambled around for a couple of nice ones, and uh, and that was it. My fish living here. My dog's getting really anxious. I don't know what else to say, but uh, thank you all for coming out, and uh, really looking forward to tomorrow.
Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. It is semifinal Saturday here at the 53rd running of the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic. Day two getting underway right now. Takeoff not delayed. We are fortunate. The big storms that passed through Knoxville, Tennessee and East Tennessee last night have passed. The rain has stopped. The wind is dying down, Such, and that was a big concern, and we will see how it affects the anglers as we see some shots from takeoff this morning. 55 anglers in the 53rd Bassmaster Classic. Knoxville, Tennessee, we're so glad to be here. The fans showed up big time at the Expo. Great day one crowd as well. Heard the takeoff crowd was bigger than crowds the previous time we've been here. And there's a big crowd. Those storms did not ward off the crowd this morning. They showed up to support their favorite anglers and to witness something it's in their backyard for the second time ever. Second classic here in Knoxville, Tennessee on the Tennessee River, which we saw and learned a lot of stuff yesterday, but there's still work to be done for quite a few anglers. It's wide open below that top five or so. For the four-time Bassmaster winner, Jacob Porosnik, and man, uh, yesterday, that leaving here with a sea of humanity cheering you guys on a great way in yesterday, but... All right. Comeback day, man. Sitting in 40th place right now, I'm looking around. We had a giant storm come through here and it's gonna blow like 20 to 30 today. So uh, maybe that kind of stir up activates some of these swim bait fish, I'm not sure. But um, I know it's blowing against the current, so that's never a good thing. But I like the dirtier water. I can see dirtier water here. Um, and I could also see just a nice chop, obviously with the wind, so. Hopefully that'll spark a few of those swim bait bites. We only need five bites and, uh, and we make the cut at the very least. But I've weighed 21 plus pound bags out here before and uh, I think I could do it again today. Just make the right decisions. We've got a long day of fishing. Gonna fish hard all the way to 3.30 today. Thank you. Obviously, what Gussie did a couple years ago, I mean, I started right there and he would fish this and then I would come out, but I didn't have the tools to get the job done. But this place has been hammered and a big old giant lead head, you know, Domeki rigging, like all these fish are conditioned to it. So I'm doing something a little different, little Neko rig, little minnow bait, see if that helps at all. Gotta do something different. Gosh, dude, freaking giants on it. They just turned away. I shook it and they turned away. Gosh, there was two big ones on it. Gosh, those freaking tanks. Uh, it's time to do some fun stuff, man. All right, let's go get some bites. Let's go in that marina. Make some money cast. Spend two hours in there and leave with a limit.
one. Big enough. We could stay in here all day and catch a nice lemon. Two pounder. Like you have to make a money cast. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like it's gotta be in the deepest, nastiest stuff in there. Otherwise, no bite. I do not want to work the expo tomorrow. <laughs> There's that other side too. It seems like the shallower the dock, the better. Like there's a point that sticks out right here and there's a point that sticks out right there. It's too deep right here. Gotta go on that other side. Nastiest cast, man. You got to. Got to make them. Tie a jig on just to get in those like little nooks, like over docks. I ended up fishing this whole marina. Like yesterday, I could tell like they pushed in here. The male, you know, some males I caught were pissing, so. Jig bite, man. You all stay on that. Gosh! Mm. Bit it weird the first time, bit it weird the second time. Three thirty. We're running out of time. It's an hour ride back, and I want to stop. I want to be eating barbecue about this time tomorrow with the fans. <laughs> oh, I gotta. Maybe the swim bait bites on out in the main. How about that? We could hope. We could hope. Yeah. Gotta go to work, boys. Hey Johnny, you'd like this glide, dude. It is sick. Really sick. It pulls back like crazy. Gotta get out of this clear water. This dock right here, I caught a four on it back then. This is where it started. Right here on this dock. Big one! Big one! Stay on there! Stay on there, big girl! Stay on! Oh! That's how we do it! Woo That's why we throw a swim bait on this windblown stuff. That's why we do it. Ah! That thing crushed it so hard. Look at that spot right there. It looks perfect. Go ahead and send that one in. That made my day, dude. Oh, I love that bite. How about we do this the rest of the day? Uh, four and a half. Got a lot of work to do still. I got plenty of time. Those super obvious spots, man. I mean, you just, yeah. you just feel it. Like you feel it. Oh, come on, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're on to something now. Let's go. It doesn't look good enough. Like the cast before, you just know you're gonna get a bite. 
You gotta find the right stuff though. Gotta look right. It's gotta be a current brake and wind blown. Good stretch right here too. I haven't even fixed it yet. Oh, stay on there, small mouth. Go! Uh, yes! Yes, sir! Oh, that's gonna be real close. It's gonna be real close. I knew it looked like a small mouth spot. Oh, that's gonna be close, dude. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, it's 17. Dang it! Look like a smallmouth spawning spot too. I mean, I just knew it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. That's all I got, man. Gosh. I gotta go straight to weigh-in. I can't make any more stops. Let's go, Expo. We tried. Maybe I'll get big fish today. big bass of the day and you know in a lot of sports like football they say you got to have a little dog in you but you literally had a little dog here up in the same yeah do we have any dog owners or dog fans up there anywhere i brought my dog michi just for you guys we really appreciate it um yeah you know i went out there uh doing what i like to do throwing a big swim bait and you know i'm getting good bites i'm just not getting enough of them and uh, again the lack of current but um, you know, the, the, with the wind that came up today, I was able to get that big bite, and I ran all over the lake today trying to, trying to make something happen, but during the Classic, I mean, you have to absolutely go for it, so I have zero regrets. I mean, I only weighed two yesterday. Well, the good thing is I get to hang out with you all. I'm going to be hanging out uh, at the Black Rifle Bass Pro Shops and Nitro booth tomorrow, so I'll be at the Expo. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, so come out and see me. I appreciate it, guys. Always entertaining. Thank you. Always I appreciate it, guys. You Thank you. freaking sore after that we got that little clue caught that big one almost a five pounder and we it was like the epitome of running and gunning for the last what three hours of the day in the back of my mind it's like it's a classic keep going keep going keep going you know you pull up jump the trolling motor make three to five casts on a nice little swim bait spot nothing go to the next one nothing go to the next wind blown spot nothing and like after about the second hour of it, it just started eating away at me, eating away at and eating away at me. I'm just like, dude, I only have two fish in my live well. Like this ain't gonna happen. 
but that wind and that little bit of current like keeps you going and keeps you going and you know like I said I've 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 been in this spot before where it like happens boom 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 and all of a sudden you're like in the top 10 uh, but unfortunately that didn't happen here this week so I don't know I'm pumped overall like I'm I guess I'm just stoked just to be here but the crowd was amazing one thing's for sure the guy who's leading it Gussie he's targeting straight up smallmouth and that's something that I didn't want to do like going into this event like I knew I just knew in my mind like it's gonna happen with a mixed bag just because of you know the warming temperatures here we are late March and blah 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 a nice big swim bait bite and we got those bites we just we didn't get enough of them so um, it's definitely showing um, it's showing this week that you know this region of Tennessee East Tennessee and these mountains is definitely behind a little bit that's why those deep deep water smallmouth are playing as, as well as they are um, but overall I got no regrets man I mean just catching that that big one today I mean that bite I mean that's that's what I live for I mean honestly everything else is just like boring to me so why not mix that that uh, that satisfaction that bite with the Bassmaster Classic why not and uh, that's what we did this week pumped to do it um, but didn't make the cut so we're gonna hang out at the expo tomorrow and this is the place to do it because the crowds are absolutely amazing so um, it's been awesome too because I've had more people comment on the build podcast the vlogs we're doing uh, the long-form videos that Johnny's doing um, so it all comes kind of full circle getting to shake hands and sign autographs and meet the people who actually watch this stuff through the lens um, and uh, it just it's real satisfying so is it as satisfying as a top 10 top 5 top 3 or winning the classic no but it's a lot of fun and if you're gonna be a professional bass fisherman better learn to love it <laughs>